in the second half. And Trey, these guys have described you as a menace. What is it about <laughs> these moments on somebody else's floor when your season is on the line that you seem to shine? Uh, it's, it's, the, it's the imagination as a kid that comes out of me and uh, those, those moments that you dream of when the clock's running down and uh, as a kid when you're in the gym just with your dad or you're by yourself and uh, in moments and pressure moments and big time games like this, you just, you just uh, are ready for them. Trey, I talked about the pre-show before the game started how I felt like you need to be more efficient at the, uh, the first play-in game. Did you feel like that tonight, that you had to be more efficient and more aggressive offensively? For sure, for sure. I didn't like the way I started the last game. I really didn't like the way I started tonight, uh, to be honest with you, but I knew I had to keep being aggressive and, and keep staying in attack mode for my teammates. And if I wasn't looking to score for myself, it was to get somebody else involved. So I had to continue to stay in attack mode, though. Trey, in that first half, you did an excellent job like you did the first game of finding your teammates. You guys, that first game was knocking down threes tonight. They couldn't find that mark. In that second half, at halftime when Capella went out and you're looking at that score, what did you tell yourself sitting in that locker room? Did you make up your mind at that point that you were going to have to be more aggressive, that you were going to have to start looking for your shot more? Yeah, I knew if uh, we were going to go down, I was going to go down swinging and uh, – just wanted to be aggressive and, and not let the first couple shots affect me. Um, and I just wanted to stay aggressive for my teammates, and they were encouraging me to, to stay aggressive. And uh, my teammates had a hell of a game. Bogey, Clint, Onyeka coming in, Big O filling in for Clint. It was a big game for us. And I'm not going to buy it, Trey, if you tell me that you have not allowed your first round matchup against the Miami Heat. So let's talk a little bit about it. Game one set, I, what, the hours at this point away? Yeah. Where do you all feel that you had the advantage? Uh, I don't know. I, I think uh, an advantage for us is we, we've already played these guys a lot. Uh, I think we kind of know their tendencies. Uh, stopping it is another thing. So we got to go out there. And, you know, It's, it's going to be a quick turnaround in two days and we just got to get down to Miami, get some rest, and, and be ready to go for game one. Get rested. Get ready. Uh, thank you for shimmying. Trey, there's only one building that they're going to like you in. That's Atlanta. That's 29 other <laughs> buildings. They're going to hate your guts, young fella, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. You see what jersey I got on. Yes, sir. That's, that's all I can ATL, all I baby. Yes, sir. And did you wave at them as well? <laughs> yeah. They, they tried a lot of the FU chants, too. I don't know if y'all can hear it on TV, yeah. but. <laughs> they, were, they, were, they were yelling them FU chance too. And I think they yelled them a little bit too early. Trey, I'm ready for you, man. Keep shimmying, man. You can borrow it. I, Trey, tell them like KG used to tell them. Y'all can have y'all building back now. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I got Trey, you. thank you so much for taking the time. We'll talk to you soon. All right, I'll see y'all. Yeah.